Hello everybody, this is Bike Blast. Here I am again on Planet Zoo and we're in video number three of how to build our real life zoo. So um, it's been a, a bit of a toil this week. I've, I've done quite a lot of work on the zoo and I found that when I put the video together for what I've done, it came to almost 40 minutes and you don't want to be sitting through a 40 minute video. So I thought what I'll do is I'll try and make it a little bit more concise. So I'll tell you what I've done first, and then I'll show you a, a part of the video that I was going to show you anyway, um, which shows how I've built up the land and how I've built the paths up. And then uh, at the end, I'll show you where I'm up to with the whole zoo. So the first part is th the next step of building a real life zoo. So we've already made our grid. We've already put our buildings down. And the next part was to put the pathways in. So the way to do it was by using the grid that we've already got and also the buildings. So the buildings are in the right spots. We, we measured them out in, in one of the earlier videos. So now we can tell roughly where the pathways go. So I've been using things like the uh, like the Google Maps and some of the other uh, pictures that I showed you in the previous videos. And in order to uh, get them all right, I keep cross-referencing. So I'll go into the Google Maps, I'll have a look. I'll have a look, see which ones are staff paths and things like that. And uh, I just generally put all the paths down. Now, the problem with that is you're on a flat map, which is great for putting paths down. It's dead easy to put paths down on a, on a flat map. But that's not what the zoo is. The zoo is elevated in places. Um, but nevertheless, uh, the, my advice would be if you're trying to recreate a real life zoo, put all the pathways in first on a flat map. And then we're going to come back and we're going to raise the land up afterwards and we're going to uh, we're going to do that using a little technique that i i've developed for this particular zoo um so what i'll do is i'm going to show you um how i built this bit of pathway in a short video and then i'll come back and i'll show you how the zoo is um how it's looking now and, and where we're going to go with the next video so hopefully quite a short video today um uh, just now a quick look at how to build this. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And so after uh, a few minutes work, well, maybe an hour or so, uh, this is what we're left with. So I've built the path up along here and then I've built the second story to the path up here. There's a few little bits just need adjusting. So maybe I'll put some earth underneath there and underneath these. It means that I'll need to demolish the actual stairs in order to put the pathway in. But I think it'd be better getting the rock in there, I think, getting some dirt in there. Um, so as you can see, um, pretty much this side's done. It, it's got a good, uh, a good profile to it. I need to have a look, see how far this slopes, whether it's a gentle slope or a fairly steep slope as it is at the moment but I know that the pathway comes down to about the same level as the bottom of these buildings because there's a staff path goes into here so you can obviously get from these buildings to this part of the of the zoo so if you look at the other side I haven't done anything all the paths are still on the floor I have started building out with these so you can see from the top that roughly where they go and where they connect so you can see this connects onto here this connects onto here and this just joins onto this and then this path slopes down as well to this level um, these are about the same level so i would imagine that this is all at the same level i need to check it but you can see roughly what we're aiming for and where we're getting to you can see I've used some spars here, some just general measuring things. So I measured from the building to the pathway to give me a rough idea of how big uh, this gap was going to be. So I've built the path to more or less that. And then what I did was I've used some more to get an idea of how far it was from this path to this path. And this, this does actually, this is about 8 metres and this is about 12, 13 metres. So you can see it is it is moving away from this path. But there you go, you get a good idea of it. Um, what I'll do is I'll do some more work on it and then I'll show you the video of what it looks like when I've finished. I just wanted to show you what it looks like as I'm part way through. And it, it's slowly doing each bit. It, it's not trying to do it all at once. So what I'll probably do next is I'll demolish this bit. I'll put a little pink path in from... I'll, in fact, I'll show you exactly how I've been doing it. So you can see how easy it is to do this. So the first thing to do is 
to know roughly where your paths are going to be be joining so it's about here where it gets to the floor level um, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to go along this and we're looking top down and I'm just going to make my path like that. It's important to make sure that these are on the floor, that they're, they're, they're not like up here or on a funny angle. So if, they're, uh, if it's a nice flat path like this, we want to make sure that all these pieces are lovely and flat. It does curve here and there, of course. But there you go. That's that's pretty much where we're going to. Just there. All right. So that's where we're going to build our path. We want these to be one piece. So let's just select them all like that. And then we'll just merge them as one. And then I need to just make sure that they're angled correctly. So it's quite a steep path, this, actually. We're going to just go like this. Like that. Okay, and then just adjust it as we need to. Does that need to go up, down? Where does it need to go? I think that's about the right angle, actually. Uh, no, maybe a bit more over. So a little bit more like this. So what I'm going to do is come down like this. So what we've got is a, a path that comes from about that height to about that height. Uh, and that is where I need to build my uh, my land up to. Okay, so what we're going to do is that. So in order to do that, I'll need to delete the paths that's underneath it. But I know where the paths are going now because we've already put in the bits above. So this is a five meter path. Important to remember when we, uh, when we come back to it. And that is pretty much where we're going to. I'll take one more off uh, so I can build the, the, the land underneath. Right, so um, what I'm going to do is just raise the land around this area. Just get it up. I don't want any gaps underneath the the land or the pathway in any way. I just I, I want it to be pretty much. So all I'm doing is I'm just filling in underneath the paths. And of course there's going to be an enclosure here somewhere and it'll be at about the level that these are at. So we're just building it up, building up the land, and it won't do it underneath these pathways. As you can see, there's bits where it stops because it, uh, it doesn't like building around pathways, which is a pain, but there you go. And you can see, I'm, I'm quite happily going through the pink bit there. I'm not, I'm not too precious about where we go or how it looks just yet that will all come in a second so the first thing we need to do is get this smoothed out a little bit because um, we've got some big bits up here which obviously are too high so i'm just using the smooth tool to get these down a little bit more and the thing with the smooth is if you keep doing it like this it will go back down to uh like the floor level eventually but we don't want that we're just trying to get everything about right just smoothing everything out so what we've got is something easier to work with right now this flattened surface is a great tool um, it will flatten to whatever angle you're you're at so if i do it like that we'll get a strange angle like this and obviously that's a bit steep <laughs> So what we need to do is try and get it about the same angle as the pathway is. So if we if we come down here and have a look at this, it's not exactly flat here. I want I want somewhere that looks as though it's that the path isn't on on an angle like that or or on an angle the other way. So I just want a bit that's just about right. So that looks about right there. Okay. So it's giving me a good angle here. I'm just following the path all the way down and what you'll find is it's not quite gone right because it, it was a bit too steep but we're we're there or thereabouts and we've we've got a good idea of what we're doing now i can probably bring this back up again oh a bit too much just underneath there just going to smooth it out again smooth it out smooth it out smooth it out 
and it's just trial and error it's just playing around with it till you're happy okay but you can see that we're, we're actually getting a, a more smooth area of, of where the path's going to go so let's just have another go at that uh, flatten to surface and again try and get the right angle that you want we want it at, at a, a nice angle how are you that ain't bad actually we're not too bad there oh, a bit too much under here but again just pull it up again right we're not far off now this is this is where the magic's about to happen okay we're going to see the magic happen. What I want to do first is just have another quick look at the pathway. I just want to make sure that I've got everything happy how I want it. So the pathway is actually down here. So what I've got here is the flat bit that joins onto the staff bit, which is... Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. There we go which is this bit here. So the gate that you can see is here and we're looking in that direction. Okay, so that's the gate there and you can see the path goes off that way, path goes off that way, right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at this and it, it does wiggle around a little bit. Forget the enclosures, we're not bothered about them. Forget the land in between. It's quite a steep hill. Uh, it doesn't look it so much on the camera, but it is actually coming up quite a bit. And you can see it just goes right and left a little meander along there probably comes over a little bit further left than i've got it going but we can sort that out um so i think what we'll do is i'm going to try and just get this down a little bit more here this might be better on about 60. okay okay there we go right 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 and i'm going to come a bit further left than i expected to there all right so i've got roughly roughly everything done there where, I, where i'm happy with it oh not that can we just get rid of that i wanted to get rid of that piece i've put in there right that's good right good so what i'm going to do now is we're going to uh we're going to follow that rough trajectory coming a little bit further left than it was before we're just going to build a path in and again i'm not bothered about um i'm not bothered about uh, being exact on the pink one because we're roughly in the right spot anyway but the thing to do now is very important do not try and build along this this is a pain in the bottom what you need to do is press the control key and put a bit of path in somewhere all right we know that's in roughly the right spot and what we're going to do is we're going to do another one all right so sometimes it doesn't let you do it straight away you need to uh, come out of come out of paths or something all right there we go and we're gonna we're gonna put this over here somewhere boom right so what i'm going to do now is we're going to join these up Okay, so if it doesn't join like that, and it is joining there, just, it did it, it did it, honest, it did it, there we are, look at the path, at the bottom it looks a bit rough doesn't it, it looks like it, there's a crease in it, you can you see it, I don't know if you can make it out as well as I can, but you can see it's a bit rough, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try flatten terrain, alright, now we, we, obviously we don't want it doing that, because it will flatten it and make it horizontal, I want it to do the join like it did a second ago i'm going to increase the length of the path see if that'll make it do it there we go right so it, it is sort of doing it but that will come out awful you see what i mean it's not what we want so switch it off again switch it off again put it in and we'll come back to it in a bit so i'm gonna i'm gonna curve around here let's just um take some of that angle off Right, now this now wants to join up with that. All right. And I want the land to come with it, if I can. So 
it's not it's it's dug it away out from under it so let's just get rid of this for a second because the land needs building up here first so let's do that flatten to foundation just building it up that's all we're doing and then we're going for the full monty there so that's the height it should be that's the height the path should be just there okay and that's where we're going so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger because i'm going to put a bit of path in there like i did before and it's going to be you press control so that it goes in let's make sure it's lined up with the path going this way so that's about right now this actually goes in here i like this I haven't got that switched on, have I? I have actually. Let's switch it off for now. And it goes in like this, and then it comes out and joins that. There is a little bit of path goes that way, which we will build in a bit. There's a little, there's a little uh, shed or a little viewing area there that you can go to. Right. So joining this bit up is the the order of the day. So we want these to join. It's not looking like it wants to join there. So let's make it a bit longer longer come on join no go that way let's try it on a three uh, yeah it, it's not it's not enjoying this at all is it switch the flat terrain on and see if that'll help Actually, it, it is actually a bit wider here in real life if you uh, if you notice so what I might do is make it a bit wider let's go for like six or seven meters here and see if it'll work you're not gonna work are you <laughs> I can come back later and do it we'll come back at another point when it's happier come on join the oh yeah nearly had it there yeah look at that beautiful so look at our path now that comes down nice steep angle there it's uh, it's about where it needs to be uh, the thing we can do now is we can get rid of this so just delete it and we now have a path that comes down a hill now all it is now is a matter of just messing about with your terrain so again you go back to your google maps and have a look have a look what what's the terrain doing at the various points is it does it appear to be sloping away? Is it uh, is it higher than the pathway? It seems to be a nice smoothish transition from one side to the other. So we can come back and do that. And um, of course, you're going to put trees and things in here, uh, which will cover a lot of this up anyway. But it's just a case of smoothing it out and making sure it looks like it does in real life if you've got any bits that aren't quite right and you think well that doesn't quite look right there or as i said this appears to be wider in real life for a, a few meters so i'll just show you that so here you see it's, it's wider there's there's a couple of trees in the middle of it so it's much wider than the the other pathways um so i can come back and do that later we can do the finery later and little bits like this where it doesn't quite look right you know you can you can come and and, and pop them in as you wish because you've already got you've already got your, your other bits that it's going to join onto fixed in so boom like this uh -huh. okay does that look better probably there you go so you it's as easy as that to get a a nice slope and it's a case of building your pink thing getting it at the angle from where you want it to join to where you want it to join and then trying to get the land about right and then using the terrain and the path terrain flattened terrain thing um but make sure that the path is trying to go on a slope upwards or downwards rather than trying to go flat or else it'll just look strange and that's it that's all you need to do uh, in order to get your lovely terrain thing done here come on join on join on this join on join on here on this one please from here nee, it's still not doing it is it oh well never mind 
I just wanted to smooth that bottom bit out. Anyway, that's it for now. I will, uh, again, as I said, I'll show you the end result at the end. So I'll be back in a bit. Great, well, that's that video um, on how to build the pathways. I hope that made uh, complete sense and, and it wasn't just uh, some garbage. But I can show you now where we're up to with the zoo. So as far as we go with the buildings, none of the buildings have been built up. We have got them all planned out. So all the buildings are in. Almost all the paths are there. So I'm pretty sure that 90% of the pathways of the park are in now. And there are a couple of little bits that I know there's a, either a, a little staff walkway, like, like round here, there's staff access to this side of the buildings. There's um, like a public entrance to this building, which comes in about here and goes in here, and then the pathway goes around inside. I, I haven't really dealt with that because it's part of a building. And when we come to do, actually build the buildings, then we'll be doing all that sort of detail. Um, so most of the pathways are in. Um, what I've done is I've then gone and built up the land. I've used the technique that I showed in the little video of how to get the angles on the on the various buildings, uh, on the on the various walkways. Sorry, and so hopefully we should have a pretty good um, approximation of where we're up to. There are bits like this that need tidying up, but as we go through the park, we're going to be doing each enclosure, like the penguin enclosure. Um, and as we do that, we can tidy up the bits around it. We can tidy up the rock work. We're going to be doing the fences, uh, the water, and uh, just filling in the foliage and, and benches and, and all the other bits. And uh, we're going to be doing that starting from the next video. Um, so where we're up to now is we've got pretty much all the terrain in. I'm fairly happy with how this bit is. Um, there are bits that I don't have information on, how, how steep that is and things like that, but it's pretty much there. Uh, I've filled in the roof around here, so I've been able to at least put some more pathways in, and there's a bridge goes over here. And then there's another path that goes around the front, and the front of this is really complicated. When we come to build this building, it'll probably be in at least three different videos. So this will be the tropical area, then we've got the water, uh, massive aquarium in there, that's going to be a tricky job. Uh, and then the front is really, really complicated with various levels of decks. So there's at least one, two, three different levels of decking, and then there's a fourth level for where the animals are at the front. It's, it's going to be quite a complicated build. But you can see I've done pretty much that. I've also put some of the water in, so uh, some of the enclosures, like the cheetah enclosure, has the water in, and it's it's been put in as it is in the zoo, where it comes halfway up to here. Um, I need to fill in some brickwork, and I need to obviously build the inside of, of these. But you can see that the zoo is looking a lot better. So now what you've got is a good idea of where the buildings are, where all the pathways are, where bits of water is, where the elevation is. And all we need to do now is start working on the various enclosures. That's going to come with the next video. Um, today's been hopefully a much shorter video than the previous ones. And I hope that if you're joining in with this with your own zoo, or maybe you're having a go at the Burgers Zoo, that you, you're coming along with yours as well. And that's about it for me for today. We've got quite a lot done, and um, it looks it looks really nice. Uh, if you if you've got any questions about how I've I've laid the pathways, um, then you know ask along or how I've I've done the terraforming on various bits. Um, just ask the questions either on uh, my Facebook page or on this comment on the comments for this video. And that's about it. So I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're uh, you're following it quite easily. If not, let me know. My name's Backblast. I'll catch you next time.